first thing I do is look for the shape of the face. This is the shape I see. Well, I kind of went off the page there. But that's the basic shape I see. A rounded shape. And the hair shape on top of that. The eyes. Kind of small and dark. By the way, stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to show you a secret practice technique I use to improve. Add a little highlight there. The pupil. A shadow under the eyelid. And the eyebrow and I'm looking for where does the eyebrow does it come close to touching one of these lines it kind of does it gets close and then there is a rounded shape like this and so I'm gonna it's very it's a light eyebrow so I'm gonna try to make a light line in that rounded shape and make another line I'm just so it's like the shape of the eyebrow and then we're gonna Fill it with little lines that kind of represent the hairs. And this is the party style, so it's it's a quick like a five minute sketch. That's the little wrinkle under the eye. And this is kind of like one circular system, the eyebrow and the under, under eyelid. Then I'm imagining that there is a dimension here but I'm not going to draw it Then I'm going to just draw a little bit of the bridge of the nose it just gives me a map so that I know where I'm at and then the other eye it's kind of a dark and round eye so we're going to add plenty of eyelashes you can't really see the eyelid on this side very well so I'm just going to barely add it. I kind of break this underneath line so that it doesn't look too harsh of a line. Add the details of the eye on this side. Highlight, pupil, shadow, under eyelid wrinkle. And now this eyebrow. Now this eyebrow seems to connect with the bridge of the nose and then go around and kind of disappear in a round shape just like that. Let's start with the underneath line. And I'm drawing a light line. I'm trying to make it very light where it almost disappears. I might use a different method if I was taking hours to draw this but this is my five minute method and somebody asked me in the comments to draw someone with glasses or how asked me how I do it so there's two ways to do it and this is how I usually do it now I'm gonna draw the glasses so I'm looking for the line on the for the bridge of the glasses and what I'm doing is I'm thinking where does that line line up some people wear their glasses really low so that the the nose of the glasses are down below their eyes some of them wear them really high her the, on her it's like dead center of the eye so I just draw boom there's the bridge of the glasses then I just imagine that this is this part of the glasses and I do it with one clean line I do the same on the other side Now it's a slight three-quarter view, so this side over here can be slightly longer. But we can talk about perspective in a different video. So this is the, the end of the glasses. 
and then with one line we finish it. And we're trying to do it with one line so that our lines are smooth and clean. That's the bridge of the nose. Now I'm looking at the shape of the nose. I'm going to try to match the shape of the nose, but I'm going to simplify and try to do this with one line. That's the bulb of the nose. And it kind of, the nostril kind of folds under. It's a small nostril compared to the bulb. We're we'll rounded on top, a little triangular on the bottom. The other side of the nostril, you can barely see it. So I'm just going to, because of perspective, so I'm just going to suggest it there. One line, and boom, ready for the next part. Now the mouth, when I'm drawing the mouth, the first thing I look at is it, is it wide or is it small? Hers is a small mouth. So once I've determined it's small, I'm going to be sure to keep it small between the eyes. and But I'm also going to observe the shape of it. So I'm going to start in the center and go this way. And then this is the little fold. And then start in the center and go back to the other side. And then the lip, I'm using one line. And the top lip, I'm noticing that it doesn't go corner to corner. Her lips kind of start around this area. So I'm careful to observe those differences. Some people's lips go all the way to the edge. Hers kind of travels like that. Then there's a, um, this top lip is a shape. And there is a fold right here, a wrinkle. And some of these other wrinkles I would just not draw, but let's just add a little one there. Okay, and then her lip comes down, her chin starts here, and there is a little wrinkle here where her chin starts. And then boom, I am done with the small marker. This is a Mangaka Flexible Medium from Zig Markers. Put that aside and switch to my big marker, Tombow. Now I'm going to draw, she has a little, little round chin, so I'm just going to draw that. That kind of anchors what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to draw her jaw and cheek line down to the, here. And I'm looking at the curve of it. Does it curve out? I mean, is it wider out here and then come rounding in? That's what it looks like. Could be the opposite. But in this case, it seems like it goes like this. And so I'm going to try to get it with one confident stroke. I may have made it too wide, but that's the fun of drawing caricatures. You can't make a mistake. Then on this side, I'm looking at the photo and at a party I'd be looking at a real person and I'm thinking where does it turn? The jawline even though it's rounded it kind of turns in such a way and so there's a corner of the mouth if you follow it out it turns somewhere around in here and then there's a, a large space here between the eye and the edge of the face. So I'm going to try to draw with confidence and now this is a mistake I make all the time. I don't go out far, farther, far enough on the left side, but like I said, that's the fun of drawing caricatures. Fix it on the next one, right? Okay, now we're going to do a forehead line. We see this line, it kind of, it's not straight up, it diagonal like this. And so I drew it like that. Now we're going to do the hair, and the hair kind of swoops. I have this little shorthand that I do with swooping hair. I draw two or three small hairs. These are the underneath hairs. Then I come over that and do a swoop. And it kind of looks cool. Another swooping line with the hair. There's an ear down there, back there I mean, but you can't really see it because of the shadows, but I'll draw it anyway. Now 
I'm drawing the shape of this hair, or what I think is the shape. Okay, I'm going to leave off that for a minute because I want to draw the neck. And I'm going to add a little shadow down here. I saw another artist do this one time and I thought it was awesome so I drew it myself. There's the collar line. Okay. Now I'm looking back at the photo and I'm seeing that the hair comes all the way down here to where it's parallel with the chin. So I'm going to do that. And it turns up a little bit there so I'll do that too. Back over on this side, I'm looking at this line. It looks like it curves out like this. Where the curve ends, it's a, just around the eye level. So I'll go for it. And there's another curved line coming out here. And then there's some volume of hair there. And it comes in. Now, I use the small side of the marker and I kind of fill out that shape. Fill out the inside shapes. It shows the direction of the hair. I'm kind of basing it on the photo, but I'm also stylizing it. This is the secret practice technique I promised. I take a photo and I draw it, do the best I can. And then I draw the, again, same photo and I push it. And I look for the angle, the shapes, the straights and the curves. And then I draw it again and I'll try to push it even further. I look for what's differences, the angles, the shapes, the curves, the straights, and I push it further. The more I do this, the better I get at catching a likeness on the first try. You should try it too.